What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of my Spider-Man Noir cosplay series. Today's episode, we'll be finishing the costume. We're gonna be working on the belt pouches. We're gonna be working on the boots and the gloves. We're also gonna be remaking the goggles. Now in the previous video, I said that I wanted to do mirrored lenses, but there were some problems with that and I wasn't gonna be able to get it done before today. I'm still gonna attempt to do mirrored lenses, but just not in this video right now. I don't know if you can see, but my table is a mess because I just finished working on this. I actually just recorded the outro part outside right now. I'm still wearing the pants and boots. But better late than never. The last I checked, it was 3 p.m. already and it is Halloween. So hopefully this video renders out quickly. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna make sure to post some high quality photos onto there. Currently it's uh, 4 p.m. and it's 85 degrees outside in Texas. So I couldn't really have the costume on for too long during the, the final reveal. But make sure to check that out and uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video with anyone else you think might be interested. Leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions about anything that happens in, later in the video. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys later. So here is everything we need for the gloves. I don't need you yet. Here are my web shooters that I designed in Tinkercad and printed on an SLA printer. Here is just a scrap piece of leather that I got at a hobby store and then two gloves that I got on eBay. I've actually had these for a while now and I've been wearing them so they're kind of worn in a little bit. So here are the web shooters. I'm sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm sure that I'm gonna have some uh, side-by-side -side photos here you can see the inside this is actually version 2 if you follow me on instagram you would have seen these already um these are available for free on my thingiverse and uh you can see the curve here and you know just you know just regular design details so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna prime these and then i'm gonna spray paint them black a matte black and then i'm gonna cut a strip of the scrap piece of leather sew it onto the gloves here and then the strap would feed through these little holes that i have here so that's the plan for the gloves i'm gonna go ahead and prime those right now I'm gonna try to line up the sewing with this seam here. Gonna make sure that the pinky part is the part with the adjuster. So you can see here, I printed out some pieces. Now these are the same pieces as these um, pieces that I printed for, so that I could uh, mold the mesh over this. I put it into Blender, smoothen it, and then cut off uh, the area under it. And I came out with this and I printed it on my SLA printer. So I'm gonna make a mold of these. I'm gonna make two of each, and then this will help me vacuum form some plastic over them instead of uh, what I did before where I just used like some foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and thermoform these pieces. I tried to do it with the clear plastic, but it turns white if I don't watch it. And then secondly, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same plastic that I used to make the face shell. And then I'll be able to use that to push down on the, the mesh that I had before. I'm gonna go ahead and keep trying after this video is posted to make some clear, some reflective lenses with the, with the clear plastic. I just don't have the time and I want this video to go up before Halloween and tomorrow is Halloween. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then you know do all that.
So I've transferred that template onto these pieces of canvas. Something I do want to do is line the inside of these with some faux leather because I feel like these are just too uh, thin and they're not going to keep that uh, shape that uh, it has in the game. Something else that might help me with that is these, I 3D printed so these inserts. I might have to print them again, just a little bit smaller because that might add a lot more to it. Basically, you just insert these in and then uh, it'll keep the, the 3D shape that's in the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out that extra piece that's on the edge here. I'm gonna transfer that onto the pieces of faux leather and then cut those out, glue it onto here, and then I will sew it. Now that these are sewn and there are 3D pieces are inside, I'm gonna go ahead and punch these holes out so that I can stick these uh, lift the dot uh, clips into these pieces. But before I actually attach them, I'm gonna have to weather these. But before I weather them, I'm gonna want to uh, punch these holes. Why? I honestly don't know, but I kinda wanna get this part done right now. So to line them up, all I did was make a straight line from the two corners here. Mark the middle as well, and that's where the the bottom part of the lifted dots are gonna go. And then I'm gonna use this piece to mark where the holes that I need to cut are gonna be. Cut those lines with the X-Acto knife. And then we could stick this part through so all those pieces are going through and then attach this part but we're not gonna attach it yet we're going to mark where that hole is so that we can punch it through these are the three colors i'm gonna be using the white to make it a little more gray how it is in the game and then the other two just to make it a little dirty Dang it, I just, I just realized I didn't need to punch that hole. Oh well. You can see here, I added a very light coat of uh, this brown spray paint. I think this is really gonna help uh, separate it from the black vest that I have and also the black pants that I have. That's gonna make it look a little bit better. Bring shoe polish, brown shoe polish to give it a little bit of a sheen, kind of like a greasy uh, look. Make sure to put some on the edges all the way around and then a little bit around this thing here. Now it just looks that little bit more dirty. Here are the boots I'm gonna be using. The only modification that I need to make is there's a strap that goes along the top here all the way around. I got these boots online. I'll try to find the, the link that I used and put it in the description. Um, you can see the brand is uh, Demonia. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some masking tape over this and then uh, draw the template like that. As for the belt pouches, I think I'm gonna add a bit of Velcro to the little uh, point here, just so that that could stay down. So after that, and then after this, the costume's done. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make sure that the skinny end is as wide as the belt buckle I have. That'll be uh, 16 millimeters, also known as three quarters of an inch. So here's a template for the short end. The other end is just gonna have a longer piece going this way. From here to about here, it is uh, five centimeters uh, from the top here. It, the wide part is 35 millimeters wide and the short end is uh, 15 millimeters wide. And then this fat chunk here goes all the way to 55 millimeters uh, long and then you know just taper it into the rest of it. In the game, the buckle does not reach the laces, so. There's that. And then just the other end is just gonna be longer and I could cut it to whatever uh, size I want it to be.
So thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any questions about anything that happened in the, during the video, or if you have any uh, constructive criticism that'll help me become better at you know the stuff that I do. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And again, um, the sweater especially added a lot. And uh, I didn't take that into account when I made the belt. So I might have to make that again, just a little bit longer. Thankfully, there's a video out there already showing me how to do it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm going to post some high quality photos of this costume uh, eventually. Once it does get a little bit colder and I'm able to wear it comfortably. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and joining me in this journey. And um, yeah, we'll see what else I have to do. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I do. Goodbye.